This week, photography, it was once a magical art form used to record important historical moments and document precious memories. But we live in arrogant times and photography has devolved into me, me, me. Look at this cute picture of me. I'm amazing. And look at me. I've just put my phone down my pants and taken a picture of my knob. Well, not me, obviously. <laughs> I don't have a knob. I was doing an impression of a young man. Anyway, watch this. There are two types of selfie. Number one, the tongue in between teeth, or the tit, as I like to call it. This photograph demonstrates what an amazing time you're having taking a photograph of yourself pretending to have an amazing time. Then there's the second type of selfie, the awesome sexy selfie, or as I like to call it, the ass. The ass is where you pout and joke around, pretending that you're trying to be sexy. But really, there's no joke, you're actually trying to be sexy. <laughs> Selfies, come on! In my day, if you'd taken a bazillion photos of yourself and carried on like that in front of the camera, I'd have told you to go f*** yourself. <laughs> At least 1.8 billion photos are uploaded every day across all the social media platforms. 1.8 billion! That's too many! Even on Anzac Day, the uploading didn't stop. Now, while many were respectfully commemorating the day, others completely missed the point posting bikini shots under the hashtag, lest we forget. Clearly, some people still didn't quite understand that Anzac Day is a day to remember selflessness, not selfiness. Oh, and by the way, I covered their faces not because I thought they'd be embarrassed, but because I thought they'd be delighted to be on the television. Hashtag, look at me, everyone. My selfie made it onto the telly. Ha! Photography is a failure because it no longer serves its original purpose, to document an exact likeness of something or someone. Let's face it, when was the last time you saw a profile picture of someone that actually looked like them? Here's what Charlie looks like in real life. And here's what Charlie looks like on Tinder. Here's what Tom looks like in real life. Here's what Tom looks like on Tinder. Here's what I look like in real life. And here's what I look like on Tinder. Yeah, I'm not getting any swipes. So what can we learn? We can learn to put our phones away. They're not cameras, they're telephones, people. And we can learn to enjoy doing stuff in the moment rather than stopping and ruining the moment by taking a photograph of ourselves pretending to be enjoying ourselves doing stuff in the moment. This is Kitty Flanagan in the study, throwing back to myself, in the moment. <laughs> me I make an excellent point now something I didn't get to uh, Chuck if I can just bring out the selfie stick which is a recent invention yeah. not sure yeah. if you're aware how it works I want to demonstrate it if I can if you can just um, take a selfie the regular so my... way okay so you just take a selfie and then I've got a selfie stick so what I do is I beat you with it <laughs> so for the love of God would you stop that yeah I think that could work yeah. I think we should sell them on the website. I know you're not meant to have product placement on the ABC, but now's Every the time, time to start, yeah. <laughs> Would you please give it up for Kitty Flanagan?